In what has become one of the most important days in Australia's history, Julia Gillard's carbon tax was passed through Parliament this morning. The news receiving a mixed review here on the coast, many still confused about what it means for them. A round of applause, victory for Julia Gillard, who got through Parliament what Kevin Rudd couldn't. Amenities Bill 2010 without amendment. The impacts of the carbon tax remain somewhat a mystery to most here on the coast. Not a fan, can't see any way out of it though until we get an election. And I think it's a good thing because for the future, you know, we have to think green. So we're just going to have to budget for it and get used to it, yeah. It will mean an average $9.90 increase to the weekly budget for households, but the government will offer a range of tax cuts for some workers. Single seniors will receive almost $340 extra a year. Farmers won't have to pay the tax, while small businesses will receive tax concessions. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll have some sort of a positive impact and, um, yeah, everything will roll smoothly from here on. It's a little bit scary for us. It might push the prices of a few things up. The Maroochydore Chamber of Commerce is concerned any rise in building costs and freight may affect the region's growth. In terms of our international effectiveness and our competition on the global market, I can see it definitely uh, affecting investment. A rise in airfare prices likely to drive tourists away. We don't have the, uh, the large volumes that some of the, the uh, major players have. But the Environment Council believe the tax will go some way in protecting what's ours. The Sunshine Coast is one of the regions in Australia that is um, of, of greater than average threat uh, of, of global warming and, and sea level rises. The carbon tax will come into effect next July. Simon Ward, Wind News.